This is Sir Ganesh, lecturer in Geology, Ammar College, Vijayanagar. In the last class, we discussed the structure of heart. Now, I am going to discuss the functioning of heart. Okay. Before going to discuss the functioning of heart, first of all, we should know major structures of the heart. Here, in mammal's heart, there are four chambers. Okay, here are the four chambers. The upper chambers are, these are the upper chambers, these are the lower chambers, which are present downwards. The upper chambers are called atria. And the down chambers are the lower chambers which are the broader chambers when we compare with the atria, they are ventricles. Okay, here, this is right atrium. This is left atrium. Which means right atrium or right atrium. This is the left atrium or left atrium. This is right ventricle, this one is left ventricle. The short play I have mentioned like this. RA which means right atrium. LA means left atrium. RB means right ventricle. LB means left ventricle. Okay. Okay, let us discuss the functioning of or how the heart pumps the blood to all vital parts of our body. Okay. First of all, the atria which receives the blood uh, from the veins. Veins. Okay. Here. This is a pre-caval vein. Pre-caval vein. Okay. The pre-caval vein Pre-caval vein receives deoxygenated blood or impure blood. Pre-caval vein receives deoxygenated blood or impure blood from the upper body parts like the head region and all uh, upper body parts. And also downwards there is another vein which is post-caval vein. post caval vein. Okay. So, here interestingly, the pre caval vein or superior vena cava. Another name for the pre caval vein is superior vena cava. It collects the deoxygenated blood from the upper body parts. It carries the deoxygenated blood into the right atrium of the heart. And also, the post caval vein are inferior. Vena cava, which collects the deoxygenated blood or impure blood from the lower body parts. So, hence it lies downwards. So, it collects the deoxygenated blood from the lower body parts. It also opens into the right atrium of the heart, like this. Okay. So, pre caval vein and post caval vein. The both the major veins which collect the deoxygenated blood, they lead to the right atrium of the heart. Okay, come to this left atrium or left atrium. Only pulmonary veins. Here are the pulmonary veins. This side. Okay. Students, these are present left side, which means uh, these are left pulmonary veins. Okay, the opposite, these are right pulmonary veins. Pulmonary 
pulmonary veins. Okay. Also you know that pulmonary, uh, that term indicates it has the relation with the lungs. Which means the pulmonary veins, both the right and left pulmonary veins, they collect the oxygenated from the lungs. And also they open into the left atrium of the heart. This is very important thing. Okay? It is both open through these pores and also the left pulmonary veins are open through these pores into the left atrium of the heart. Okay. Then the right atrium and left atrium uh, they both have the blood which means right atrium has the deoxygenated blood left atrium has the oxygenated blood they lead to the ventricles so from the right atrium right ventricle receives deoxygenated blood or impure blood whereas <clears throat> from the left atrium, the left ventricle receives the oxygenated blood. Then, from the right ventricle, a greater arch, I mean uh, pulmonary arch arises from the here, like this. I am drawing the rough, rough picture of the heart. Okay? Okay? From left ventricle, For example, when we take our motor, I mean, 
uh, if we switch on the motor button then uh, we get the water water so in the same way heart itself it pumps the blood to all vital parts body parts but how it works how it functions what is the function of the heart how it is uh, performing its role so is there any uh, central point or is there any uh, behind uh, the function is there any power even a super is there any supernatural power so we have to discuss that okay let's move on to the functioning of heart functioning of heart before going to discuss the functioning of heart we should know we should have minimum knowledge about uh, the nodal tissues nodal tissues nodal tissues so major nodal tissues are SEO node Second one is AV node. Third one is his bundle. And fourth one is Purkinje fibers. Purkinje fibers. Okay. These are the specialized tissues. Which are present in the heart. Okay. Yes, you know, AV know, his body, fucking the fibers. So these are these four play major role in the functioning of heart. So uh, one by one we have to discuss them. cardiac cycle cardium is related word of the heart hence uh, specialized in particular heart he is known as cardiologist cardiologist okay cardiac cycle means heart cycle the functioning of heart okay it is mainly three types the cardiac cycle is Three types. I mean, three events are involved in this cardiac cycle. First of all, first one is atrial systole. Second one is ventricular systole. The third one is cardiac diastole. Cardiac okay. One by one, we have to discuss them. Okay. First of all, all we know from the uh, infant stage, we know that our heart beats 72 times, approximately 72 times per minute. So, what is a heartbeat? So, a heartbeat. Heartbeat means it is the composition of a systole and a diastole of the heart. Systole and diastole. One systole plus one diastole. So this is heartbeat. So the heartbeat contains one systole and one diastole. So what is systole and what is diastole? Systole means contraction of the heart chambers. Diastole means a relaxation state of the heart chambers. So the 
one systole means the contraction of the all four chambers. Diastole means the relaxation of the all four chambers. So one heart vein which contains one systole and one diastole. So we have 72 heartbeats per minute. One heartbeat to the next beginning heartbeat, there are some events are performed between one heartbeat and the next heartbeat. The events are atrial system, ventricular system and cardiac diastole. So first one, atrial system. So atrial system which means contraction of the atria or contraction of the auricles. So right and left atria, they get contracted. So this is right atrium, this one is left atrium. Uh, nodal tissues. What is the role of the nodal tissues?